Hello everyone. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to prepare pasta. Pasta in a cheesy uh, gravy. For that we require pastas. Here I have taken macaroni pastas and broccoli which I have sliced into half. I have taken 5 to 6 florets of broccoli. Then mushrooms. Mushrooms are also finely sliced. Uh, these are button mushrooms you can also use other varieties of mushrooms and tomatoes here uh, a half tomato and onion one onion then cream cheese oregano this is uh, garlic salt with parsley a bit of turmeric powder and red chili powder in place of red chili powder you can use uh, paprika powder if you don't want too much of spiciness to the pasta and a bit of chili mayo it is low in fat low in carbohydrates and guys let's start then in a saucepan we'll add we'll cook our pasta first for that we'll add some water in it water and our pastas and a bit of salt a bit of it around one teaspoon I have added around one teaspoon one small teaspoon then I'll bit of oil so that our pastas don't get stick together let it cook cover it with its lid let it cook for uh, 10 to 15 minutes or uh, till the pastas get tender meanwhile we should uh, prepare its uh, gravy let's start preparing its gravy place a saucepan here or a pan whichever you want heat oil in it here I'm using olive oil you can use whichever oil you want or you can use butter also but I am using olive oil here a bit of olive oil mm, to the oil I'm adding onions onions you can use white onions also And slightly the color of onion changed we will add our vegetables now to this we will add our broccoli you can use any seasonal vegetables available to you. Uh, you can add Brussels sprouts, carrots, beans, or green peas. Here I am using only broccoli and uh, mushrooms. And in uh, place of tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes uh, give you a tanginess to our pasta that's why uh, I'm adding tomatoes uh, just cook uh, saute broccoli till it becomes tender we should not overcook our vegetables now it's time to add our some mushrooms and 
tomatoes tomatoes and let it uh, cook for um, 10 to 5 to 10 minutes Just 5 to 10 minutes cover it with the lid and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes in the meanwhile let us check our pasta Let it sit for another 10 minutes. Now check out our veggies. Mm -hmm. Broccoli are done. Mushrooms are also done. In this, now we will add our First we add a pinch of soy dish, a pinch of a pinch because cheese already has salt in it so, and we have already added a bit of salt and pasta also so we will add some cheese, cream cheese let it melt bit of garlic salt a bit you don't have garlic soil uh, don't worry you can add garlic in this Cover it with a lid. Let it sit for 5 minutes. Now our pastas are done. Let drain off some excess of water. Now let us check the gravy. Mm. I have added a bit of water in it so that uh, our cheese can melt faster. You can add chicken also to this. Now I will add a bit of oregano. Oregano give you a, a nice flavor to the pasta. But it has a unique smell and taste. And to this a bit of chili mayo. I am a great fan of chili mayo so I will add a bit of mayo also and it will give you a thicky te texture to the pasta. A bit. Now stir it well. At this stage you just taste uh, the pasta if more salt is required then you may add and then for me the salt is sufficient yummy pasta you may also add parmesan cheese or shadar cheese to get more cheesy flavor our pasta is ready to serve guys do try this at home it is very yummy and tasty and if you like this video please subscribe my channel uh, tap the bell icon please guys please subscribe my channel bye see you until next time